Welcome to NXT The Game Season 1, Episode 32. Let's get straight into the action. Alright, Renee Young, welcome to NXT. Tonight, we have Sean Waltman in action competing in the trio of the competitors in the main event at NXT TakeOver Redemption fighting. We have a main event of Enzo and Cass taking on Drew and Tyler Breeze, and we have Bailey. Her quest tonight can be realized if she can win back-to-back -back matches against Dana Brooke and Emma, and Emma, Emma and go on to face Gail Kim title Redemption. Tom Phillips. What a card tonight, Renee. Corey Graves. I can't wait to see how things shake up. Monumental episode tonight. James Storm's music, though, hits. James Storm showed up on the ramp to take in the ex Sean, Peck, the Sean X Pac Watman versus Solomon Crow match, and that starts now. In a match that had some good action, Solomon Crow defeated, defeated X Pac in seven and a half minutes by a fast counted pinfall from Troy Fury, Yake Younger, and a handful of tights. The revolutionist televised story has continued. After referee Drake Younger has just screwed over Waltman, Storm starts laughing on the outside. Waltman gets up and starts yelling at referee Drake Younger, and Younger begins to laugh. The fans are booming hard now as Storm is in the ring next to Younger with his arm around him laughing. Younger and Storm go, face, go still faced as Waltman turns around and is met with a chair to the head from Solomon Crow, who apparently grabbed the chair while the commotion was going on. The fans start to boo heavy as Waltman is laid out and the trio is in the ring laughing. Drake Younger and Jake Storm now sat on the side next to Solomon Crow and raise his hand to see a booze. James Storm's muffled. The revolution is televised. It looks like James, the, like Solomon Crow, has just joined the revolution. Shocker. Nobody saw that coming. Come on, nobody saw that coming. All right, now a music video shown to promote Baron Corbin. Just you know, Baron Corbin hype video. All right, now an extremely short match. Samoa Joe defeated Ty Dillinger in four and a half minutes by a pinfall with a muscle buster. Basically, just to get Joe a win here. Now the camera opens up as Bo Dallas is walking with his Money in the Bank briefcase as he approaches a nearby Hideo Itami. Bo, Hideo, says Bo, I hear we're going to be going one-on-one -on -one at NXT TakeOver Redemption. That is fun, don't you think? He says smirking. Hideo just stares. I mean, shucks, I'm the NXT Money in the Bank winner and you're the man who was pushed off the ladder to become the Money in the Bank winner. It should be a swell match. I mean, two guys, one of who won, one of who could have won. Man! Hideo continued to stare. Anyway, Hideo, I'll let you go, because I just got things to do. This case isn't going to shine itself, you know. You can believe that. The scene is with Bodal was smiling, and then turning an evil look to his face once he's looking away from Hideo. Only the fans can see. So this is continuing my Money in the Bank storyline with Hideo and Bo. Alright. In an average match... And, uh, excuse me, in a match that average crowd reaction and some decent reaction, Bailey defeated Dana Brooke in five minutes by pinfall, illegally using the ropes for leverage. I don't know why that's there. That should not. We're gonna just pretend that didn't happen. I don't know why that note came up. Okay, so Bailey won via pinfall during the match. We had to let Emma try to distract Bailey. All right, now let's move on. Bailey sits up in the middle of the ring after winning and getting past the dr the dra past the. Little bit, excuse me. Bailey sits up in the ring after getting past the failed interference by Emma. The fan, the this failed distraction by Emma. Excuse me. The fans cheer and chant Bailey, Bailey. As the referee tells Dana to get out of the ring, Emma slides in and lays Bailey out. The referee rings for the bell to start, and the match with Emma goes, going for a pinfall, but only gets a two and three force. The match is underway. If Bailey wins, she gets to face Gil Kim for the NXT Women's Championship and NXT Takeover Redemption. If she loses, she never gets a title shot again while Gail is camp. All right now. And maximum good action in average heat. Bailey defeated Emma in 7 minutes and 43 seconds by submission after a botch interference by Dana Brooke. During the match, we also had Gay Kim, Gail Kim try to distract her. So Bailey and Emma had great chemistry. So it looks like Bailey is going to NXT Redemption to face Gail Kim finally. We'll get her match. Gail Kim is going crazy after Bailey just won for a second of the back to back matches she had to win. Bailey versus Gail Kim is now official at Redemption. Gail Kim along with Dana Brooke and Emma begin to lay into Bailey, beating her up after the match. Gail yells and Gail yells and Emma has now grabbed a chair and put it beneath her arm in the ring. That's Bailey. The fans though begin to cheer as Candice LeRae, followed by Oscar, come to the running down the ramp. But before they get there, Gail jumps onto the chair, smashes Bailey's arm, and the fans boo and see Gail Kim, Dana Brooke, and Emma roll out of the ring, leaving Bailey there lame. The fans boo with Oscar and LeRae. Tend to Bailey, but despite Bailey's now facing Gail Kim to take over Redemption, the damage appears to be done. Bailey could be potentially hurt. Will she compete at Takeover Redemption? I'm not sure. Probably. Now the camera finds Samoa Joe backstage with Apollo Cruz. Cruz, great match, great match, Joe says Cruz. Thanks, Apollo. Last week it was fun teaming up. Cruz, I agree. Anyways, see you later, brother. The two fist bump as the scene ends. What is going on here between Samoa Joe and Apollo Cruz? I'm not sure. Is someone gonna turn on someone? Are they just friends? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows yet. Only I know. 
So what's going to happen with Joe and Apollo Crews? It could be nothing, it could be something huge. Probably nothing, but we'll see where it goes. Alright, now video plays hyping the Young Bucks versus Finn Balor and Sami Zayn next week. Alright, now in the main event. In a match that has some good action, average heat, Drew McIntyre and Tyler Breeze defeated Enzo and Cass in 13 minutes when Breeze defeated Enzo more by pinfall with a beautiful disaster following interference from the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks cost Enzo Amore a match. Again, they've lost their second straight match after having never lost for six months. The Young Bucks, man, the Young Bucks are just on a tear right now in terms of distracting people. Enzo and Carmelo are a very poor combination. I don't know what to do. I've tried to fix that in the editor ten times. I have no idea how to fix it. If anybody knows how to make them have chemistry, that would be fantastic. The camera now shows the winners, Drew McIntyre and Tyler Breeze with Eva Marie. Then shows Carmelo attending to Enzo and Cass and finally the faces of the Young Bucks high-fiving. NXT fades. Alright, we still don't have enough interesting storylines. I don't know what to do. I'm trying with the storylines, guys. They're not. It's, I'm not taking big hits in terms of popularity. I check and it's like point one. but man, I would like to get this straightened. So NXT with a pretty decent show this week. Um, just a couple weeks away. I think we're two or three of shows away from uh, TakeOver Redemption. So, you know, it'll be fun. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Thanks for watching.